If you could only have four pairs of shoes, from casual to formal, summer to winter, indoor and outdoor, which would you choose? My name is Christopher Medeiros, and today I'm gonna to help you answer that question. First up, we have the minimal white sneaker. These are the men's cadence leather sneakers from Italics. They are white all around with minimal stitching, no logo printed on the outside, full grain calf leather. Sneakers are about as casual as it gets when it comes to laced closed toe footwear. They look good in just about any casual outfit. They're very versatile. The nice thing about a white sneaker that's made with leather though, as opposed to fabric like canvas, it has that youthful, contemporary, sleek design of a white sneaker while also having this more sophisticated material that is the full grain leather. And it really elevates the style of your casual outfits compared to fabric without taking away from being still appropriate for a casual setting. And the nice thing about the leather too is that it really allows you to dress these up in a way that you couldn't with fabric. You can kind of make them into a smart casual outfit or a business social outfit, especially for those occasions where you want to impress but not overdress. My favorite example of that is a white shirt, navy suit, and white sneakers. This is an absolute classic, timeless look. Always looked good, always will look good. It's simple, clean, smart, and a great way to bring the respectable quality of a suit to a social setting while still maintaining a fun, positive vibe. Always a great eye catcher. Next up, we have the Chelsea boot. This is the Cavalier by Thursday Boot Company. It features a 360 degree welt, a leather outsole with plastic stubs to prevent wear and give a little bit of slip protection and full grain calf leather. I wear these all the time here in Colorado in the winter. While stylistically, boots are sort of in the middle. They can't quite get as casual as sneakers. They also can't get quite as formal as loafers. The versatility of these really come more from the practical use standpoint than it does how much of the spectrum of formality that they cover. When it's raining, snowing, slush, salt on the ground, and I don't wanna to worry too much about hitting a wall or tripping or stepping in a puddle, boots are an absolute go-to. Not only do their shape and size fit in stylistically, with other winter wear, like bulkier coats or denim, jeans, kind of heavier clothing accessories like scarves or knit hats, but it's okay to get them a little worn. It's just kind of part of the aesthetic. Like you want them to be clean and look good, but it's generally kind of a lot more acceptable for boots to be a little scuffed as opposed to loafers or oxfords or even white sneakers, right? Which really have to be kept pristine. So these are things that, you know, boots are great because you don't really have to worry too much about what you're doing when you're wearing them, but still look good. I also keep a soft shine on these boots. They don't need a mirror shine, just a soft shine. And what that means is when I go out and maybe I'm stomping around in the winter time, boots get a little mucked up, I can come home Hit them with a damp cloth, generous layer of wax, horsehair brush, 10 minutes, done. Right, so it's like really easy to maintain these because I don't have to worry too much about being meticulous the way I do with my loafers and with my Oxfords. Next up, loafers. These are penny loafers. They are the Cohen model from Beckett Simonon. I love these. These are great sort of daily walkers. I wear them all the time. They're fantastic. Easy shoes, not super expensive, so don't worry too much. I can wear them daily, just kind of a regular everyday business wear shoe. Now you can get tassel loafers. You can get horse bit loafers. Personally, I really enjoy penny loafers. I think they're really great. They're really easy, just a safe all around inoffensive, always going to look good, always going to be appropriate for almost every situation shoe. Indoor, outdoor, 
with socks, without socks. This is probably the single most versatile shoe of all the ones that we're showing. Right, there's things it can't do. It can't be as casual as a sneaker can. It can't be as formal as an Oxford can, but it definitely covers the widest range in between. And honestly, I think everyone should have a pair of loafers, if nothing else, because it's just a great shoe. It always looks good. It always makes you look like you really are a little bit of a step up in terms of style. So these cover a wide spectrum, kind of everything from upper casual to lower formal. They're kind of great for almost like a summery first date, you know, at an outdoor restaurant, no socks, white jeans, a light summery shirt, great look. But then on the other hand, they are great for just sort of everyday business because they're always stylish, they always look good, they always look professional, but you won't overdress. It's pretty hard to sort of overdress using loafers. So it's a shoe that you don't really have to think a whole lot. It goes well with a lot of different clothing. It always makes you stand out and they're easy. You know, sometimes I have a client, I have to meet them very quickly. I slip these on, out the door, right? I don't have to mess around with laces or making sure the laces look good, especially flat laces, making sure that they're laying flat and they haven't twirled around. So I think loafers are, are great for that reason too, is that they're really easy to just sort of put on and go when you gotta go. Okay, so lastly, Oxfords. These are Balmoral Oxfords, which means this vamp wraps around the rear of the shoe, a little more sleek of a design. They're by Yearn Shoemaker. I have a great review on these. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Really excellent shoe. Oxfords cover probably the smallest range on the spectrum of formality as the other three shoes. You know, these are interesting shoes because you might only need to wear Oxfords two or three, maybe four times a year. But the thing is, when you need to wear them, it's usually something very important. They're the only shoes that really cover that upper end of the range of formality, like high business formal. We're talking about a big job interview, promotion interview, a big client, an important wedding, a annual company event. These are the sort of life events that you look back on if you're unprepared and think, man, I really wish I had a good pair of shoes for that and not my kind of dirty looking boat shoes or worn sneakers, or man, I really wish I took the time to get my good shoes shined so they weren't looking all scuffed up and they looked real nice. And this is really what's meant when shoes or any clothing for that matter is, is spoken about as being an investment, right? It may sound silly, but the difference between landing that big job or that big promotion or that big client may very well be the shoes you're wearing. And it's certainly, you know, the clothing you're wearing in general. Your shoes and your suit have a very significant impact on those kinds of events and what the outcomes are. It can be expensive, but honestly, look back on the times when you have to wear a quality shoe like this and you kind of think, man, it was totally worth, you know, the few hundred dollars I spent on it. Even though it feels like a lot less useful than the other three, on this list, it's something that I think is just really important for everyone to have in their wardrobe, especially if you're working in a white collar line of work. Why does it matter to have a set of shoes for every occasion to make sure you look good? Why does it matter that you learn and take the time and effort to maintain these items properly so that they continue to look good? It matters because when people interact with you, you want them to look back on those interactions and think, we should really give him a raise. We should really give them a promotion. I should really take them out on a second date, right? Like everything, you know? Oh, that person was really pleasant to be around. They seem like they really know their, their stuff. And so the way to do that is to really look good for every occasion that, you know, you're, you're going to. And to do it without filling up an entire closet of shoes or breaking the bank, which is really easy to do when you start getting into shoes. So these are four types of shoes that'll do everything you need. Minimal white leather sneakers for everything from casual to sophisticated casual, for when you really wanna be positive, contemporary, stylish, but also sophisticated. Boots for everything from casual and outdoor casual to business social, also giving you an option in inclement weather. Loafers for everything from upper casual to kind of mid-formal, easy, fast, always looks good, and pairs well with a lot of different outfits. And then Oxfords for everything from your formal to high formal for when you wanna feel confident and impress when it matters most. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you agree? 
Do you disagree? What are your favorite shoes? Have you gone bankrupt buying shoes? Guys, gals, I want to know. Let me know in the comments. I will see you soon.